long for the people to bear the fruit of mercy and repentance. Tend and guide our growth into a faithful nation who serves you and the people you love. For the sake of Jesus, amen. Scripture reading, Lament over Jerusalem, Luke 13, 1 through 9, 31 through 35. At that very time, there were some present who told him about the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. He asked them, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were worse sinners than all other Galileans? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them. Do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others living, living in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all perish just as they did. Then he told his parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. And he came looking for fruit on it and found none. So he said to the gardener, See here, for three years I have come looking for fruit on this fig tree, and still I find none. Cut it down. Why should it be wasting the soil? He replied, Sir, let it alone for one more year until I dig around it and put manure on it. If it bears fruit next year, well and good, but if not, you can cut it down. At that very hour, some Pharisees came and said to him, Get away from here, for Herod wants to kill you. He said to them, Go and tell that fox for me. Listen, I'm casting out demons and performing cures today and tomorrow. And on the third day, I finish my work. Yet today, tomorrow, and the next day, I must be on my way, because it is impossible for the prophet to be killed outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often have I desired to gather your children together as a hen gathers her bread under her wings, and you are not willing. So your house is left to you. And I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hi, welcome to chapel. Our lesson today is complicated. It's got lots of parts and pieces, but let's summarize a couple of pieces of it. The first is people come to Jesus and tell them about how Pilate, the guy in charge of Jerusalem, is being a big bully, being mean to people. And, and then they tell him about this bad thing that happened, this tower that fell on these people. And, and, um, and they're asking Jesus, you know, what does it mean? What, when, what do you think? And uh, so he gives them some encouragement and answers them. And, and then he tells a parable. It's a parable to the fig tree that's not bearing any fruit. And, and the person who's tending it convinces the landowner to give it a little more time and and a little more encouragement and nurture. And then at the end, the uh, Pharisees want to boss him around and sort of make him afraid so he'll leave. And uh, so they use King Herod as a, as a threat. And Jesus turns, looks at Jerusalem and just grieves and is sad because the people of Jerusalem are not following or listening to God. And he says, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. The city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often I have desired to gather you together like a mother hen gathers her brood under her wings. These are, these are really poetic images. And Jesus is really, really sad for the way in people are behaving and just doing their own thing and going their own way and not listening to God. Makes Jesus sad. And he looks to the city. I have this picture in my office that um, I'd like to share with you. It's a picture of Jesus looking at Jerusalem. And you can see he's just sad. And he wishes, wishes so much that they would listen to him and that they would turn toward him. And this is what Jesus is like for us. So here, here's this picture. You can see that that. 
the longing in Jesus' look as He's looking out over Jerusalem, saying, oh, how I wish you would listen. That longing is exactly what Jesus does for us. He looks to us in the same way. He wants to be with us, wants to, to be a part of our lives and help lead us in the way that he would go, he would have us go. And, and, and this, is, this is what Jesus wants for us, to know and experience God's presence and to follow faithfully and listen to what God says and follow where God leads and and we'll know all the great things that God has planned for us. But, like in this lesson, sometimes bad things happen. Sometimes people are mean. Sometimes there's challenges that we don't know what to face. But even in the midst of those things, Jesus is still reaching out to us, longing to be with us. And is with us in those times, in those places. Even when it seems like violence is winning or or bad people are not uh, are winning, Jesus is with us. And God is still God, and God is still faithful. So let's, let's pray and give thanks to God. Pray after me. Dear God, thank you that you love us. Thank you that you take care of us. And thank you for Jesus. Amen. Now, Take good care of yourselves and one another, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to be awesome. See you soon. Prayers of the people. We pray for the church, the world, and all those in need. You give us endless chances to show your love in our lives. Although we do not always take them, open our hearts to see the world with the same compassion that you do and treat others with the grace you have given us. Lord, and your mercy. We pray for peace in our world and reconciliation between people. Soften hearts that have hardened and forgive those who have given in to hatred. Lord, and your mercy. Even amidst the curses of pollution and endangerment and exploitation, this earth and its creatures continue to endure and thrive. Make us willing and dedicated partners committed to the renewal of our environment. Lord, in your mercy. Decease and disaster are not punishments for sin, but rather reflections of a broken and imperfect world. Strengthen all who suffer adversity of any kind and who need a special measure of your healing. We pray for an end to a COVID-19 virus and healing for our world. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all the scientists who use their gifts for the benefit of others and the achievement of peace upon the planet. Inspire us through their willingness to discern where our own gifts are most needed. Lord, in your mercy. You need all... You hear all your children's prayers and gather the loss into your loving arms. Teach us to put it to trust in you and in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now receive the blessing of God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Take good care of yourselves and one another and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Go now in peace.